purveyors of safety systems are supposed to prevent nuclear accidents, especially meltdowns. But as the Fukushima nuclear crisis demonstrates, nature has challenged man's best plans. Here's what happened to get Japan into the state it's in now. The first explosion blew out the top part of a reactor containment building at the Fukushima No. 1 nuclear power plant. This footage inside the building was taken during a regular inspection. The nuclear reactor is housed behind this robust wall. This is what a nuclear reactor looks like. The uranium inside the fuel rod inside the reactor undergoes nuclear fission. The rods emit heat, generating energy. Usually water cools them to maintain their temperature at 270 degrees Celsius. But if the cooling fails, the temperature could rise to over 1,200 degrees. This temperature is hot enough to melt the fuel rods. When the earthquake hit, the first safety system to prevent a meltdown was activated. Control rods rose into the reactor to stop the nuclear fission. As planned, the reactor stopped operating. But the fuel rods were still hot. Water should have been circulated to cool them down. However, this didn't happen because of a power outage right after the quake. So the second safety system turned on. The emergency diesel power generator began spraying the rods with coolant. But, an hour later, something unexpected happened. Without warning, the emergency generator stopped. Around this time, the tsunami, possibly as high as 10 meters, hit the power plant. Experts think this is what caused the generator to fail. Now, the third safety system started operating. It converts steam traveling through the pipes into water. It cools the rods, but the water level went down and the temperature continued to rise. All three safety measures had failed. <laughs> Professor Akira Omoto of the Japan Atomic Energy Commission was involved in construction of the Fukushima plants. He thinks the cooling water somehow leaked from the reactor. The reactor's coolants must have leaked somewhere in the building. We thought we had taken adequate precautions for a tsunami, but what happened was beyond our expectations. To forcibly cool the reactor, seawater had to be pumped into it and the containment vessel. Similar failures and a huge explosion also hit another reactor at the plant on Monday. Once again, nature has challenged man's best efforts. <laughs>